Oh boy. All right. What's the... No. Beyblade. Oh. I have never actually seen a Beyblade episode, despite me being a fan of Beyblade. Um, anyways, so this is Edward's exploit. I have never seen this episode, actually, so this is going to be my first time watching this. The reason why I haven't seen this is because it was never my VHS tapes or my DVDs, so this is going to be completely new for me. Uh, let's give this a shot. I read the book, so uh, let's, let's do it. Let's watch it. Let's go. Bertie the bus was giving some visitors a tour of the island of Sodor. I personally wouldn't mind uh, getting a tour of the island of Sodor. It was their last afternoon and Edward was preparing to take them to meet Bill and Ben. He found it hard to start the heavy train. Did you see him straining? asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked James. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Oh! Shut up, burst out Duck. You're all jealous. Edward's better than any of you. You're right, Duck, said Boko. His face Edward's moved. old, but he'll surprise us all. Oh, I've I... done it! We're off! I've done it! We're off! said Edward as he finally puffed out of the station. I love the scenery here. Bill and Ben were delighted to see the visitors. They loved being photographed. Later, they took the party to the China Clayworks in a break van special. Look at that. Oh, that guy in the back uh, kind of wobbled and he stopped. Everyone had a splendid time, and the visitors were most impressed. Oh, uh, I, I was wondering... Then Edward took the visitors home. I was wondering where the other... I heard thunder. On the way, the weather changed. Wind and rain buffeted Edward. His sanding gear failed, and his fireman rode in front, dropping sand on the rails by hand. Suddenly, Edward's wheels slipped fiercely. With a shrieking crack, something broke. The crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your crank pins broke, Edward, said his driver. In, in the illustrations, it was actually a bit more graphic, like... The the piston rods actually uh destroyed the the little splashers. Um it it looked very painful actually. Um also speaking of storms, there's actually a storm uh going on uh right now as I'm recording this. So uh <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get back to the to the thing. We've taken your side rods off. Now you're like an old-fashioned engine. Can you get these people home? They must start back tonight. I'll try, sir, promised Edward. Edward puffed and pulled his hardest, but his wheels kept slipping and he could not start the heavy train. The passengers were anxious. Driver, fireman and guard went along the train, making adjustments between the coaches. We've loosened the couplings, Edward. Now you can pick your coaches up one by one, just as you do with trucks. That will be much easier, said Edward. Come on, he puffed and moved cautiously forward. The first coach moving helped to start the second and the second helped the third. I really wish that I had a face cam so you could see, like, my reaction, my face reaction. 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a face cam or the equipment or the programs to do it, so you just got to just imagine that I'm like surprised or or stuff like that. You're just got to imagine my facial expressions. <clears throat> I've done it! I've done it! Puffed Edward. Why is there no smoke coming out from from the from the smokestack? Oh, we'll ignore that. Steady, boy! Warned his driver. Well done, boy! You've got them! You've got them! And he listened happily to Edward's steady beat as he forged slowly but surely ahead. At last battered, weary, but unbeaten, Edward steamed in. Yes. Henry was waiting for the visitors with the special train. Peep, peep! The fat controller angrily pointed to the clock, but excited passengers cheered and thanked Edward his driver and fireman. What was that pause for, for? Duck and Boko saw to it that Edward was left in peace. Gordon and James remained respectfully silent. <laughs> they should. All right. That was pretty awesome. Um, now, I'm just going to watch Beyblade uh, off camera just to see what it's like. Uh, I should probably start with episode one, actually. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.